Imagine your best night ever, you know, you're just doing everything well, you know, you're killing it. All your hard work and dedication on your craft and everything has come into play, right? This is the case for Killer Mike, which is crazy because he won all three Grammys. He went three for three, best rap album. I know a lot of people are talking like um, he, he doesn't deserve it. Tra uh, Travis Scott was there. Drake was, uh, was there in that category. But people don't know about the album. You know, scientists and engineers, like if you what if you li listen to that album, you know exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of people don't really know that. And they come here and talk like he's not the most popular rapper. But honestly, that album is fantastic. And a lot of people need to give him credit for that. But it's crazy to me that the man won it and things happen later on, man. He got arrested. He got taken away by a handcuff. You hear me right, yeah, a handcuff, which is crazy. So first we're gonna take a look at his ex exception, um, wow, acceptance speech. I can't even speak today uh, for, for that, and this is it. And the Grammy goes to scientists and engineers, Killer Mike. Yes, sir. Yeah, you got to understand, man. I wanted to talk about hip hop. It's not about who's the most popular. It's called best rap album, right? Album. Dun, dun. I am super happy for him, right? Look at that smile. This is the happiest moment for this guy's entire entire night, man. And the LAPD had to ruin it. Hey! Where's my old lady at? Where's my wife at? <laughs> I'm not going to take too much of your time. Hopefully I get to come back up here. I heard you guys clapping when they called my name, so I'm going to take my shades off. I want to say I'm from the Southeast. Like DJ Paul, I'm, I'm, I'm a black man in America, and as a kid, I had a dream to become a part of music. Yeah. And a nine-year-old is excitedly dancing in front, inside of me right now. I want to thank Loma Vista, Adam, Tom, Todd, Ryan, all of you guys. I want to thank my management company. My manager, Will, is active. I want to thank my A&R cuz, Lightyear. I want to thank everyone who dares to believe. Yes can change the world. So thank Dre, thank Future, thank Aaron, thank all the producers on here, but everyone in this room, there you go. it's our responsibility to keep using our imagination to shape and form the world. Thank you, and I hope it's not the last time I see you tonight. It could, you see how crazy that is? Like, uh, that is such a well-given speech, and he's like, hopefully that's not the rest of the and tonight. And I was super happy, and when seeing that, and I was just uh, overwhelmed about it. I was like, okay, my man got it, man. I was super excited. Then all of a sudden, man, all of a sudden, they had to hit him with this right here, right here. Kill him, Mike. <laughs> Killer Mike taking the handcuffs after winning three Grammys. Here's why the rapper was arrested, which is crazy, right? It says, Killer Mike was, let me move it. All right. Killer Mike was seen being walked out of the Grammy Awards in handcuffs Sunday night. Though it was not immediate, cl immediately clear why he was being arrested just before the Grammy broadcast began, Los Angeles Police Department later released details about the misdemeanor charge in a video upload to X Twitter by the Hollywood reporter Christopher Gardner, the run run the jewels rapper was seen being escorted through crypto.com arena by police. The LAPD said on social media that the rapper was taken into custody because of a physical alter alter altercation that occurred at the 700 block of Chick Hand Court. They did not provide details on what that incident happened or what the circumstances were. The suspect was placed under arrest and was transported to LAPD Central Division. Police said in the statement Monday, the suspect has been identified as 48-year-old Michael Rander and booked for misdemeanor battery. The statement said, adding, Rander has been released on zero 
bail. Yo, you ruin this man's night. You ruin this man's night because it's it's crazy to me, right? You had to do that during that moment. You had to do it during that moment. How crazy is that, right? He got nominated for rap album, which he won. He got nominated for rap performance, which he won. He got nominated for rap songs, which he won, right? The LAPD had to do that that night. You know how crazy that is, right? You know how crazy that is? That night, you took that moment away from me, and now everybody's going to say, here goes a black man, another black man got, got this, got this, got, got put in handcuffs. Oh, you didn't, you didn't, oh, my God, this thing like pisses me off to a point where I was I was super upset about it because why like that? Why you have to treat him like that in that moment, especially right there when all the the news, the TVs, everybody, the big shot are there. Do you think that's not going to make a public statement that that's not going to make anything come out of it? That's insane to me that the LAPD actually had to do something like that. You ruined that man's night. Right now, everything is overshadowed based on that arrest. That's insane to me. That's insanity. How would you do that? Right? I know some of them would not fit. I know you, some people might say they're just doing that job. You couldn't wait. You had to do it within there. Right? Within there. You couldn't send someone to talk to him saying, hey, drop by at the LAPD and depart. I'm sure he would not, would not have flee. I am positive of that. But the fact that they did something like that is just insane to me. I'm sitting here. I'm thinking about it. Also, about the Grammy. One thing about it, they did not televise any rap category, anything for them. The, the, the Grammy did not do anything of that whatsoever. And that's another insane and shameful matter by them. Honestly, I will say that. Right? And they wonder why black people constantly boycott the Grammy. You guys have been doing this to them for the longest time. I would say this, right? Some black artists has to stop doing this. They have to stop catering to the Grammy, right? The Grammy will not be what they are anymore if you guys just stay away. Just stay away and boycott it as soon as possible and get a far away from me. Because honestly, it's ridiculous now. They're going to do that to Killer Mike after he's won arguably three Grammys. Performance, album, and song. And a lot of people like Travis Scott. No, no, no. The same time where Caesar should have won it, you know, but Taylor Swift won it. Big whoop, big surprise on that. Honestly... To me, I sit there and I wonder, I was like, why? What, what's the point? What's the, what's the point? Right? Why would you be there? Why would you entertain these people? Um, honestly, I don't know. You guys might know the answer for that because to me, honestly, I don't. Let me know in the comments, man, because this is ridiculous that they had to do that on that man's night. Man, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.